welcome to this annual commemoration of Yom HaShoah organised by the New South Wales Jewish Board of Deputies. This year we commemorate 70 years since liberation. We now ask the survivors and their families to light the memorial candle in memory of the six million Jews who perished in the Shoah. The name Marika Weinberger is one that is known to almost everyone here. From the early 1990s until her retirement, hers was the voice in New South Wales of Holocaust survivors. Because she was dealing in matters of Holocaust remembrance, she approached her work with gravitas. She needed to do right by all those she represented, the survivors who needed an advocate and the dead who could not speak for themselves. And we're all very proud of her. We are not a mere link in the chain of memory. We are instead charged with creating a new chain of remembrance that stretches into perpetuity. Tonight, we not only recall 70 years since liberation, but we also recognize the incredible feats of those survivors who were responsible for the rebirth of our people. Having lost my only sister, I'm so fortunate that in Ibi, I have found as close a sister as possibly mine would have been had she lived. Vice versa. Um, we've managed to stay good friends over the years that we've lived here. We were very close in touch. <laughs> and every year had a get together with those people that traveled with us. 65 years ago, I was telling my family of, of that gathering at my son's place that we were together as four generations of, of, of Australians, four generations. We just came, the two of us, and now we have four generations. In Perth, we met the envoy of the Welfare Society to explain a little bit to us how life would be in Australia. He said something which touched me a lot. He said, when you hear a noise in the morning, it'll be the milkman, not the, not the Gestapo. So. This evening, we commemorate the exceptional compassion and bravery of two Dutch Australians, Frederick William Corten and his wife, Hermine Charlotte Corten Schiffer. The Cortens have been recognized as righteous among nations, the highest honor that Yad Vashem and the State of Israel can bestow on a Gentile for saving Jews from the terror of the Holocaust. When Mary came to us in December 1942, the first thing my mother did was remove the Jewish star from her clothing. 
And I said to my mother, I'll have that as a souvenir. And she said, no, you won't. If they come and search the house, they'll find it, and then we'll be in trouble too. I said, I promise you, they'll never find it. And they didn't. And this is the souvenir. Our focus tonight has been on the fact that 70 years have elapsed since liberation. 70 years have elapsed since the Holocaust. Yet where are we in relation to that darkest chapter in our history? The capacity of those so minded to give voice to bigotry and vent to the destruction of others. More importantly, where are we in terms of the capacity of people of goodwill to refuse to look away, to refuse to be bystanders, to speak up when others remain silent, as we heard the remarkable story of the Corton family tonight. Elie Wiesel said the opposite of love is not hate, it's indifference. The opposite of art is not ugliness, it's indifference. The opposite of religion is not heresy, it's indifference. And the opposite of life is not death, it's indifference. And when we were at Auschwitz-Birkenau for the 70th anniversary of the commemoration of that horrible place, the survivors told us that they honour the dead by living, not crying. Ladies and gentlemen, we the lucky ones who were spared the atrocities of the Second World War and the horrors of the concentration camp. We honour the dead by saying never again.